I be calling JavaScript on your mom, on your mom. She be loving how I move through the dom, through the dom. Saying I love you through the console log, console log. She be saying I like this, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, girl, make it happen. Yeah, girl. Make it happen. There's no girls present in the room right now, Kaz. What are you doing? So what's poppin'? Today what we're gonna do is talk about how to pass data from component to component. Cause in the real world environment, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a child component, a parent component, a grandparent, a mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, all these laws, and you have to obey them. So in the real world, you're gonna be doing a lot of this passing data between components. So that's what we need to master in this tutorial. So I've already created a few components. As you can see, there's a parent, a child, a grandparent, and the way that I've structured it is is go inside you can see the parent inside of that there's a child and the child is the lowest level and inside the grandparent there's the parent so the top level is the grandparent the second level is the parent and the third level is the child I've also created a service because this is what we're gonna use as the third method to pass data around and of course you have to have your service in the providers so that you could access it between components so let's get started here and let's make it happen it may seem intimidating at first but i'm going to show you three ways that i pass data on a day-to-day -day basis and i'll provide a lot of examples so you could do it too motherfucker. so let's get started so for example if we have the parent and we want to pass something to its child we would use something like input so Basically, the way I like to look at it is that we're inputting something into the child component. And that's how the child component receives data from the parent. So let's do that right now. So since we are inputting something into the child component, we have to import input. So let's input. So let's input. So let's import that from Angular Core, just like that. At input this and message from parent you can name this whatever you like and for now we're just going to make it a string and we're going to alert that when it loads so this dot message from parent prettyify that save it and now let's take the parent component and pass in something to the child so the way that we do that so in this block you're putting in the variable that you named it for the child so in our case we named it message from parent so let's put that in there message from parent and in here you want to put in the variable because you are passing in a variable in this case if you want to pass in a string you would pass in something like that so for example hello but most likely you're going to be passing in a variable so let's just do it properly and let's do that so message to child and then let's make it a string and when we initialize it let's say this dot message to child equals hello son and now that we're passing that let's throw this in there message to child and it should work as planned so save let's go back into our editor and as you can see it says hello son so that data is now being passed on from parent to child so as you can see that's one simple way so let's do another example so it gets engraved in your head as to what's going on once again we're passing in a message from the parent over to the child using input so let's send another message so let's go over to our parent and let's name this one loving message to child string and loving message to child um hello son i've missed you so merry christmas considering it's almost christmas prettyify that because i'm addicted to prettifying things save then let's go over to our html and let's grab that variable let's put it in here the block and the block is going to equal our variable and we have to name it in our child the receiver the input 
and we'll name this loving message from parent string alerts this dot loving message from parent grab that variable go into our parent put it in there oh and it should work as planned let's go over to our browser reload there it is hello sun and hello sun i've missed you so merry christmas so as you can see those are two examples so in the real world i would use something like this when the child's elements depend on the parent's state so for example if there are two different forms inside of child and parent is saying listen i want the child to show this i would pass in an input saying that so i would pass in a boolean a string it all depends on what you want to do one thing that you may have noticed is that we are putting this inside ng on init and you're probably wondering listen kaz if the state of the parent is constantly going to change how would we keep track of that if it's on ng on init well, luckily for you input runs whenever on changes run so let's put in here on changes and as you can see it got imported from angular core and now we're going to do ng on changes where's my snippets i love those snippets you know i gotta delete this out and let's alert it it's my message let's just alert one And initially you're going to have the message saying hello son, but then let's put in a, a set timeout that changes that. After let's say five seconds, and let's change this dot message to child saying what happened? And let's save all that. So let's refresh and as you can see it says hello son and then after a few seconds it says what's popping. So as you can see it's updating from ng on changes. Just to prove it to you let's add a debugger here. As you can see it runs through there the first time and it runs hello son. After a few seconds it's changed, runs through there again and it says what's popping.